in your TPT seller journey, maybe you're advanced, but there are definitely some things that by now you've probably realized are a little bit annoying to have to do every single time you're making a new TPT product. Like for example, maybe every single time that you make your terms of use and you want to add new related products, you're really sick of having to go in and like actually take a picture of like the product that you want to add and go get the link and put it into your terms of use and redo that every time. Or maybe you're really tired of having to save your PowerPoints as JPEGs and then individually input each picture back into your PowerPoint so that nobody can steal your clip art or your fonts. Or maybe you're just tired of when you're uploading a new product and you want to put related products that you have to go drag and drop the links that you want to include and hyperlink all of them yourself. And it takes forever and uploading products and creating them just takes that much longer. There must be a better way, right? Well, there is. Let's talk all about the Flatpak products by Bearwood Labs. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Brady Barton. I am the Timely Teacherpreneur. I help teacherpreneurs. Uh, I'm a teacherpreneur productivity mentor. I help them master their time and energy while scaling their business so that they can ditch the hustle and grind, uh, break up with busy, and stop sacrificing their mental health. And I took two weeks off of this channel because if you hear, my voice is still kind of gone. I kind of wish it would come back. It's really hard to sing as an elementary music teacher without having a full voice. I thought I had COVID. I don't. I just had an upper respiratory infection as my cat tries to come in. So goodbye, cat. Goodbye. Oh, wait. <laughs> and on this channel, we talk all things productivity, teacher trips and tricks, strategies to help you be the best teacher seller you can possibly be, which is why in today's video, we're going to be talking all about three apps that I use through a company named Bearwood Labs, and they do all of these technical stuff to help you better your TPT journey and basically do things that would take about like 10 minutes to an hour and do them in about five seconds. And so all three of these products I have tried and used over and over again, and I'm kind of obsessed with them, and I help them in my TPT products each and every day. And so I figured if I am saving time and I'm all about helping you save time, then that's what this video is going to be about. So I'm going to break down all three products that I use from Bearwood Labs, um, including all of their, their flattening one, the one that you use to flatten and secure your products, the one that I use to uh, do TPT product editing, and then the one that I actually use that they just came out with that is for your terms of use and covers. So if you're ready to watch all that, click like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and let's save you time on Teachers by Teachers when you're making your products. This is the Bearwood Labs website, which is where basically they created the products that I'm going to be showing you today because as a TPT seller, we're always juggling 100 tasks and then they want to help us, you know, spend less time doing all of those mundane tasks, those things that we were talking about earlier, like having to always go find your pictures to use for terms of use over and over again, or, you know, having to add related products into your TPT descriptions. And so this makes it all easier. I have a bunch of products. The ones that I'm showing you today <clears throat> are flat pack for PC. Um, I, it's the same thing for Mac. It's just Mac. They also have this power pack bundle that I have not used myself. It's just like add-ons, additions to PowerPoint. So we'll talk about that though. Um, I've never used their note to followers one because I don't make notes to followers. And then I'm also going to show you their uh, TPT product overview and description editor today. So those are the ones that we are going to talk about. So let's start with flat pack, which I believe flat pack, if I remember, is 65. Yes, it is. Okay. So a long, long time back when, when you wanted to take a PowerPoint and you wanted it to be saved, which you always want to secure your PowerPoints and things because you want to make sure that you are not violating your terms of use for your clip art or your fonts. What does that mean? Is for example, let's go to my PowerPoint right now. If I click on any of this, I could take this font and I could simply, or I could take this background, for example, and I could copy it and paste it into a new PowerPoint. That's not okay. Maybe I didn't buy that. Maybe I only bought this resource. I didn't buy the um, the font, you know, or the background paper ability to be able to use it. Well, right now, this PowerPoint is not secured. I haven't saved it. I haven't flattened any images. That's not good. So a long time ago, back when you wanted to be able to have to do this, you would have to go in and save the copy. So I'm going to save a copy, and we're going to name it example one in this example. And let's do example one. You would have to save every single image as its own individual PNG file. Then it would give you all of them inside of this little file all by itself, right? It would give you all of the images. So for example, here are all of the individual images as PNG files right there. 
Sorry, I'm going to move myself back over here. So then, in an ideal world, then what you would have to do is you would have to open a PowerPoint, and then you would have to individually insert and drag and drop every single photo just like this. So let's just do one so that you can see an example. And then I would drag it, make it as big as the slide, all that jazz. But now when you click on it, I can't <clears throat> just click on the font anymore. However, this is still not good enough because I can still just copy on this and go over to, um, oh, this is the same presentation, and go and copy it again. And so that's not good. And so what we want to do is flatten and secure our products. And so you can do this a couple of ways. I used to do it through Adobe. Adobe costs about 15 a month, and they will do it so that you cannot even move this at all. Like, this will not be movable. None of it will be movable. But Flatpak will also do it for you, and Flatpak is one of the tools that I'm showing you today. And so Flatpak is an add-on to PowerPoint that you buy for 65 forever. Um, and so it's right here, and I'll click on Flatpak. Now, if there is nothing in the PowerPoint that you want to have, like, hyperlinked, like you don't have anything they need to click on to go to another link, or anything that they need to click on to go to another slide, anything like that, then you're not going to do anything except for click the Flatpak area and go to Create PowerPoint. <clears throat> I'm going to name this example two, and then save it. And so then it's going to slowly embed all of the fonts and flatten all of the slides. And then as soon as it is done opening, it will automatically say that this is all done and every single slide will no longer be able to be ripped away from its page. So we're going to give it a second to do its thing. It's almost done. And then we're going to keep on going. Okay, so here is our new example. And if you click on it, you can't move any of it. Oh my gosh, best thing ever, best thing ever. You can't move any of it. That's what we want. You want to flatten and secure your images so that no one can steal your fonts and clip arts. And it took about five seconds to do that compared to how long it would have taken had you had to do every single individual file, but it wouldn't even have been as secure as you would have liked it to be. Now, same exact thing, you can also do a PDF, and I'm not going to do it right now, but it's the same exact thing, and it'll also secure your PDFs. So on Adobe, you would have to add a password in order to secure this. You don't need a password anymore because of Flatpak. So I definitely recommend Flatpak. Now, if there is something that you're like, but wait, I want them to be able to edit this. Like, I want it to be editable text. Like, I gave an example, I believe, right here. Yes. So let's say I want them to be able to type in this box, and so this can't be flattened then. There are two ways that you can do this. The first way is if you want them to just be able to type in this box, you're just going to click on the text box itself. And when you get to flat pack, you're going to click do not flatten. That means it's not going to flatten it. Now, let's say you want them to be able to click on these actual music rules sign and you want it to take them to like another link, an outside link. Well, you don't want to just press do not flatten or they're going to be able to take that font. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert a shape. Let's insert a shape over this. And then let's add a link. Let's add a random link. Let's just do the Bearwood Labs one, just for this example. So I'm going to insert a link. And then, oh, let's make sure that I click Do Not Flatten. And then I'm going to change the fill and the color of this thing. All right, perfect. So now these both say Do Not Flatten. So when I go to flatten this entire PowerPoint now, we're going to flatten it one more time. This will be my example three. I want you to see what happens. All right, so now that it's loaded, let's go to that slide. All right, now they can type in here, and they can actually type their music rules. <clears throat> and if we do from current slide, if we click on this, it took us to our link. Look at that awesome, awesome sauce. So that is flat pack in a pinch for you. All right, now we're going to move on to another really awesome tool that I love using, and that is their product description editor. So <clears throat> how you use that, I believe it is 35 bucks. I have it in my software file. So let me go there. Okay, so the product description editor, once you buy it, you're going to get this little PDF, and you're going to open it, and you're going to set it up. The first time you log into this, you're going to have to actually like put your store URL, which I've already done. So right here is a catalog of all of my entire store, every product that I have. And so it just starts with the first one, which is my Aretha Franklin virtual music field trip. Now this is what I have currently have written underneath my product description. Now, if you've not been on TPT long or you want to know how to make your product descriptions better, the best, one of the best ways to do that is to add other, um, other related products. 
because if someone buys something from your page or they're interested in buying something and then they see that you have another related product that like obviously is related and it might be something they're interested in they might buy that or maybe they realize oh this related product is actually in a bundle and then they buy your bundle instead and you're upselling to them so you want to make sure that you always include related resources. That's actually a really great way to bump up your sales in your TPT shop. And so um, normally what you would have to do instead of having to do this is you would have to go onto your site and you would have to individually go to each picture and you would have or each link. So I would actually go to this. So let's do that for example. I would have to go to here and I would have to go get the link and then I would have to type it here. So I would type in Aretha Franklin field trip. And then I would have to hyper hyperlink it. And then I would have to add the link and all of that stuff. And it would take a very long time. It would normally take me about like maybe 10 minutes to do all of these links. I mean, that's a lot of links to go back and get every single picture for. Well, the product editor description one does it for you. So let's say that I don't have any. Let's just pretend I don't have any examples yet. I would click add related products. Now, since this is a virtual music field trip, maybe I want to add my other virtual field trips. So that's one. Maybe I have here's other music field trips. Like I have a Black History Month, I have Diana, Duke. Maybe I want to add those. It added all four of them right now. And maybe I want to name this instead of related products. Other related music virtual field trip products. And just make sure that I bold this. And we're good. So now I have all of these products. So now if I wanted to save this, which I'm not going to because I didn't want to actually add those. If I wanted to add those, I would click save to new TPT editor. And now it has copied the entire thing into my clipboard. So then I'm going to actually go to the edit page. It takes you directly to the edit page of the product you're trying to edit. And then all you would do is I would highlight all of this and then I would delete it and paste what I just did, which I'm not going to do because it's literally the exact same thing. I didn't change anything. And then I would press submit. And then rim bam boom, all of the related products are there and they are linked just like that instead of me having to take individual time and going and getting every single link and copying and pasting for like 15 times. So definitely start using this if you're interested in cutting down time on TPT because everybody always thinks product descriptions are going to take like two seconds to upload and it actually takes a lot longer than you think and it'll take even less time if you use this product editor description. And then last but not least is their brand new one that I'm going to show you. It is their store linker. Now I will say that they are still in beta. So this one still has a couple of glitches and I've had to re-download it like two or three times, but I believe it was only 45 when I bought it and it's going to be much more than that. It's 15% off um, and it definitely is still worth it. And so the TPT store linker is used specifically for like your terms of use page or like your, um, if you like this product, buy other products page. So this is the example that I'm going to give. I have it already down here. So let's actually delete all these so you can see how it works in action. Okay. So originally when you want to add, you know, related products onto your terms of use page like this. So I have, I would have to go here. I would have to actually go on to Teachers Pay Teachers, which we're just going to use the Aretha Franklin one because I actually have it. And I would have to copy the image and then I would have to paste it. And then I would have to do the whole insert shape thing. And I would insert a shape around it. And then I would have to go here and I'd have to pick up the link and I'd have to add the link. And you know, oh, and then I'd make sure I don't flatten it so that people could actually click on my link. And then, you know, da da da, da. oops, and da, da 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 da. And that takes forever. So, what the store link does now is you click on the addendum and it actually, you log into your store once again and you can insert products. So, let's say I want to actually go into my category of, let's do virtual music field trips and I want to add this one and I want to add this one and I want to add this one. So the ones that I want to add will be going over here. Now you can do dynamic and you can fit as many as possible one product or two products per slide. I just like dynamic. So then what it's going to do is it's going to add all of them right here and the best part is they're already all hyperlinked so that when I go to click on these they automatically take me to that resource. That took like five seconds.
And there is so much other stuff you can do with this TBT store link. You can actually insert your logo so that people can actually go to your store. So that's pretty cool. Like, let me show you that real quick. Yeah, takes you right to your store, which the internet is just loading a little slowly, but that's okay. And let's see if there's anything else. Oh, and then, yeah, you can insert image placeholders, which I don't really know why you would do that, or a description placeholder. Don't really know why you would do that either, or not just type a description. I don't know. But this is, like, really, really helpful so that when you're wanting to change out your products super quickly and easily for, like, new products and things, because once again, we're always trying to, like, make sure people buy your stuff and the way they buy your stuff is knowing about your stuff. So adding related products into your terms of use pages on your products is one of the best ways to do it. And so that is how we do it. Now those three products, the flat pack, <clears throat> the terms of use one, and the related description editor have all helped me save immense time in my business. I have saved so much time through being able to use those three products. So I will make sure to link those all below. No, I do not get affiliate links for these. I wish I did because I would swear by them all of the time. But if you want to save more time in your business and you're not wanting to have to spend time on trivial things like adding related products and all of the things, then I definitely recommend that you get to work and start adding those into your TPT seller journey. If you have any other questions underneath of this video, if anything didn't make sense, please put it underneath here. I would love to help you further with that. If you have future videos that you wanna see for TPT or productivity, then also post those down below here as well. But I hope you really enjoyed this video and that you're able to see all of these hacks and things that you can use in your business as early as today so that you can make your TPT business easier and you can work smarter, not harder. With that, I'm gonna try and film a couple more videos before my son wakes up. Like I said, I had to film this twice already, so we'll see if I get there. But I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.